Hello everyone and welcome back to another webinar series of Circuit Digest. In this webinar series, we'll be discussing about the Things Network and its impact over the LoRaWAN community. We'll see how the Things Network has evolved over these years and how it is and what are the future plans it has. And to do that, we have Mr. Wing Disman, who is the CEO and co-founder of the Things Network. He's joining us all the way from Amsterdam in the middle of his Virtual Things Conference. Uh, the things conference 2021 so i'm sure that he has a lot of exciting stuff to share with us so let's hear from him so let's hear from him hi Wink, how are you <laughs> hey thanks very good very good i was just uh trying to sit comfortable for this no so problem so, uh, so are you comfortable now <laughs> yeah this is perfect this is perfect so okay uh, great so, so yeah thanks uh, yeah yeah so how are you doing today how's the day so far yeah, very good, very good. Um, we have a five-day conference, uh, uh, and um, it's a it's a global event, and we kicked it off on Monday, mm -hmm. and uh, it was packed with, uh, I think there were more than 200 sessions, we had more than uh, 70, 80 speakers, uh, we had a lot of workshops, and um, well, of course, we always have our yearly conference, a uh, big one in the um, in Amsterdam end of January and we just didn't want to skip that this year because of the situation but uh, yeah we took it online and uh, and I think we um, yeah the feedback overall is really good we have thousands of people concurrently watching and engaging um, so uh, so yeah and uh, I'm super happy and we did some 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 very cool product announcements and all our partners um, yeah, we're able to show off their services and products. And uh, so uh, overall, um, uh, I'm very happy. Okay, so this is the last day of the Things Conference. And I should say, even I did uh, visit the conference and you people have did a great job, especially with that virtual wall of fame. That was really interesting. I'm always intrigued with that wall of frame every time there is a Things Conference. This time it was virtual and it was much better than what it was uh, earlier. And that informal island, that kind of augmented way people interact with each other, that was very well thought. I, I think the virtual conference was much more interactive than a normal conference. Conference. So how did you come up with all this idea? It was like, uh, I thought the virtual conference might lower down the fun in this things conference, but you actually made it otherwise. Yeah, so I think what you have to do is you have to accept and, and also acknowledge that um, you cannot just like uh, uh, get a physical user conference and then move it uh, to online. So we, we, we took a lot of lessons from a, a lot of virtual conferences that, uh, that, that have been there. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, uh, and, and there's a lot of advantages to it. Like you can reach a global audience way easier. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can, um, 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 you can, for instance, have a conversation mm -hmm. while you're watching a talk, right? Like in a normal conference, that would be rude or would be inappropriate if you mm -hmm. would start to talk among each other. And that is a feature that actually a lot of people really like because like if you see or you're inspired by something or you learn something that all kind of like processes start to work mm -hmm. in your head and maybe you want to like also express that or ask additional questions and um, we created a vr world where you can informally mingle mm -hmm. and that is uh that was that was that was uh, going pretty pretty well as well and um uh yeah we had the booths where a lot of our partners were very active and and when they were active then then they had a lot of uh, engagement as well and, um, yeah, we we um, we have more than we're still counting, but uh, we have more than, than three thousand visitors, mm -hmm. uh, which yeah, for a virtual find is uh, is very uh, it's it's a big compliment that so many people spend so much uh, efforts to to join. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh... So I think most of us by now already know what the Things Network is and what it does, but nothing's much better than hearing it from the CEO itself. So can you just uh, give a brief on what's the Things Industries, the Things Network, the Things Conference? How does all these three go together? What is the difference between these? Yeah, so uh, at the core of it is that we uh, sell services to help you build your lower web network mm -hmm. through building a, a, offering you network management software. Uh, and um, um, uh, the, the things vision is that you need a lot of different uh, partners, ecosystem players, developers, companies um, uh, uh, to be focusing on what they're good at. Mm -hmm. Making that work together with open standards and being interoperable in that and in that way, delivering the end user 
uh, complete solutions or, or allowing developers to build complete solutions. And our hypothesis and our, our as a mission and, and, and our mantra from the start was let's build this thing together. And, um, uh, and, and that's, uh, that's what it is. So, um, and the things network, we have a large community that, 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 that visit the things conferences that can use all our open source and open tools online to build their applications mm -hmm. and taking that further than, uh, if you want to scale that, or you want to have more professional services, you can go to the things industries. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's simple, simple as that. So uh, what does things stacks stand for? Like, uh, where does the things stack fit into here? Well, the thing stack is uh, the piece of software that runs uh, and operates all the networks. So it manages the gateways, it manages the security, and it manages the devices. And it's at the core of what we do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we built, uh, launched a new product where um, we started off by uh, having global roaming for LoRaWAN uh, by design, mm -hmm. uh, and you would share your gateway. And now it's also possible to sh share an entire network that runs on the Think Stack, which is a is a network management uh, a piece of software. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Think Stack, um, yeah, is open source. Uh, there is also an enterprise version for companies, and uh, it all connects to what we call the packet broker, which is the central roaming and peering uh, lower when. Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, exchange that makes sure that you can uh, uh, collaborate uh, and connect your networks all across the world. Okay, so how has the Things Network scaled over these years? How many gateways is connected to the network right now and how many transactions are you handling? So um, we have grown in five years now to 30,000 gateways that we operate. It mm -hmm. connects, um, uh, uh, we have um, now, uh, almost 140,000 developers uh, on the platform, and we have 800,000 uh, devices registered. Mm -hmm. And all in all, the, it, we route more than 600 messages per second, which is an immense amount. It really it literally goes into the tens of billions per year. And this is growing at 100% pace every half year. So the, the traction is, is enormous. And what is interesting about the data point of, of these messages per second, these are actual devices sending some data to the cloud. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is when it all comes together, right? Like you can sell a device, but then they can end up in a draw. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, uh, so, so this is, yeah, this is, um, yeah, this, this, this is, this is very interesting market data. And this is, uh, this gives us a lot of motivation to uh, keep doing what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So where do most of these gateways come from, from a geographic point of view, from which region do you think people are, uh, actively uh, registering their gateways and which region is like very fast to pick up this face? Yeah, that, that's very uh, different. Uh, Europe is the, uh, it, it, that's the, that's the biggest share in the U S uh, we have a lot of activity in Tokyo and Australia. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in Europe, we have typically, we operate largest uh, uh, network in the UK, largest network in Germany. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, so, so and I think what's interesting, what we see, and, uh, and that's uh, also what we shared in our opening keynote, is that LoRaWAN is active in a lot of different geographies, in a lot of different uh, industry segments. Mm -hmm. And because of this distribution, it's actually showing that, that it's able to, um, uh, to, to, to handle the immense fragmentation and diversity that the IoT market uh, brings, uh, and that um, yeah, so, so the spread is 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 very 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 broad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in one of your earlier interviews, I remember you saying that the LoRaWAN market is not matured enough, and there are still a lot of things to be demystified. And I believe that was one of the purpose of having the LoRaWAN conference. Uh, sorry, the Things conference. So uh, what do you think right now? What, uh, uh, like in the current stage, what are the hurdles that our engineer might face while deploying a LoRaWAN device or an IoT device with LoRaWAN? Yeah, so um, uh, there is uh, still a lot of work to, do, to be done, but what you see is that there are further certain segments and certain device makers and application makers have been able to, to get these uh, uh, systems up to a quality that you can uh, put it in a market at scale. And that's really the point where we're at, that we have shown that we can scale in certain segments. And then you will see per segment, agriculture, smart building, facility management, 
uh, industry that uh, more and more you will find uh, um, uh, players that are able to, to deliver these high quality products. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, uh, what we've announced during our conference is a few things to help companies innovate faster and scale faster. To innovate faster, for instance, we launched a, a, a device boilerplate, which actually gives you everything you need uh, from a LoRaWAN device. And then you can extend it with your own sensors and your own uh, hardware uh, application. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, uh, and we've seen that that has been massive interest from the market to, to do that because it also has some very unique features like firmware over there updates, secure provisioning, et cetera, et cetera. So um, yeah, so, so that's where, 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 where we are there. And what we also see, see is that we will help uh, companies uh, scale faster that we, um, uh, uh, we, we launched a service, uh, which is a global installation service together with a partner that's capable of installing many, many uh, 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 gateway uh, and sensor sites uh, around the world. So yeah, every year we, we focus on, okay, what's, what's, what's uh, holding back the next growth phase and, and how can we you know, implement that? So, so far, which markets do you think is has leveraged LoRaWAN to its maximum potential? Like, can you give us any example where after using LoRaWAN, this particular industry had a big impact on it? Any such examples from your experience so far? Yeah, so we've, we've seen, uh, we have a lot of customers in food compliance, um, uh, compliance on, on, on a lot of different things. So Legionella, uh, rodent control, um, temperature measurements of food. So there's, there's quite an uptake. In agriculture, we see a lot of applications going on. Uh, we have customers that track cows. We have customers that uh, measure the moisture of, uh, of, um, of, of soil and plan irrigation, et cetera. So, so yeah, that's, um, there's a lot of um, uh, activities in these segments. And then, of course, you see that in the smart building market, um, buildings are or let's say retrofitted with all kinds of sensor applications. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is uh, that's also uh, so very interesting. Yeah. So today is the last day of the Things conference. So what were some of the major announcements made during this conference? Yeah, so uh, a few things. Uh, first of all, uh, the, the our new uh, network uh, management software, the Things stack, where it, 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 it is easy for you to manage your LoRaWAN application, your LoRaWAN network, and your LoRaWAN security. Um, next is the uh, packet broker, which allows multiple uh, networks to connect together and pair. Mm -hmm. And if you like, you can also uh, implement a business model on top of that. Mm -hmm. Second, um, or third, uh, we announced a generic note, um, uh, which is a IoT boilerplate uh, for LoRaWAN devices that uh, gives you a LoRaWAN platform that comes with all the features you need from a LoRaWAN device. Mm -hmm. And we, together with Deutsche Telekom, we announced a product where we combine the power of LTM, cellular connectivity, and LoRa by presenting a LoRa gateway that has a, a LTM backhaul. And uh, at last, we uh, announced a global installation service for um, uh, uh, for 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 the Internet of Things, where yeah, you can do complete installations um, uh, um, with um, yeah with, um, uh, with 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 us and our partner that we uh, deliver on site uh, yeah complete uh, sensor application. Okay, so that is it. I'm done with all my questions over here. Thank you so much for your time and taking part in this. Is there anything else that you would like to add on to this interview? Uh, no, not much. Uh, uh, there's going to be a lot of this content also online. Uh, so check out the opening keynote uh, and uh, that will be online early uh, later uh, uh, in the course of uh, of, uh, of February. And um, yeah, there's, a, there's a five other I think six other conferences coming this year from our, uh, from us. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, go to the things conference.com, go to things network.org and uh, feel free to join. Okay. So thank you, Wing Gizman. Thank you so much for your time and joining us today. Uh, it was really nice having your session and uh, we are just more curious to see what other products and announcements are coming from the things network in the future. Sure. Thank you very much for uh, for this interview. Yeah, thank you.